Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 4 Fan Hub Edition. This time we have uh, Josh Reynolds on the front. Looks like his skin tone's a little a little dark. He might have might have had a tan before he came in uh, to the studio. But uh, we are up to the final the final club. It's gonna be the mighty the almighty West Tigers. Actually rated pretty decently compared to some other other clubs. 80 overall. So let's uh, let's go straight into it. First up, we have James. To death go 89 overall pretty good rating like one of the highest uh yeah, people might argue the speed the acceleration agility or could be a touch high i would probably i'd probably agree with that especially the acceleration and agility i mean i don't think tedesco is like the fastest over 100 but you know that first first 20 meters changing direction he's very very quick so i would i would have it a little higher uh moses sully the young gun um Still only 19. He's, uh, you know, he's had his he's had his ups and downs this season, but I think overall it's been a pretty good debut year for him, and I think the ratings are fairly, yeah, fairly, fairly right there. Big Jamal Idris, um, you know, I, th I actually I th I thought Jamal Idris would come back in and sort of bring his uh, his best form to the Tigers, but just didn't really happen. I might have been a little. Expecting a little much there. Uh, for some reason, his out acceleration is 95. <laughs> That's definitely one that should be way, way lower. Jamal Idris is not... He's not a guy that's quick off the mark. That is that is for darn sure. Um, Kevin Guama, on the other hand, definitely is pretty speedy. And uh, I think the stats are fairly, fairly right there. Kevin Guama, pretty good player, honestly. Uh, David Nofaluma. I really like Nofalumi, he's one of my favorite players. Just uh, just one of these wingers that just do the hard work, break tackles, gets the offloads. I think Nofaluma, I think just his strength should be a lot higher. I think this is one of the things that um, I think should be higher for a lot of the wingers is the strength. Now, I can understand, yeah, like even like Moses Sully, like he's a big, strong guy, 52 strength. It just is a little low. And David Nofaluma, you know, I, I could see... Like his acceleration and sprint speed, um, you know, maybe those could be a little lower, honestly. Like he's he's quick, but he's not one of the quickest wingers in the game. So maybe those are a little lower. His strength should be like, honestly, mid, like high 80s in my opinion. Uh, to a lower here, uh, you know, mid-season transfer. And he does, he's done a pretty good job at the Tigers. He does look, you know, he's looking a little unfit. But, you know, he's getting through the games okay. And he's not playing awful, so... You know, if he gets, you know, if he gets his fitness worked out, I think he can, I think he can do some good stuff for the Tigers. I think the Tigers are actually going to be pretty good next year, even though they're losing some players. I, I think they've signed pretty well. So, uh, Luke Brooks, 83. You know, no, I'm not a huge fan of Luke Brooks. I think he's, he's fairly overrated. Not fairly overrated. I think he's incredibly overrated. Just, uh, he's talked about a lot, but I have never really seen him do, uh, do too much, um, in, uh, in reality. But, you know, he could prove me wrong in a couple of years. He could be a very good player. We'll see. Uh, Aaron Woods, just talking about overrated players. I think Aaron Woods is definitely, uh, high up on that list of overrated players. Um, not going to get too much into that, but, uh, you know, there he is right there. It's a good likeness. <laughs> Uh, Matt McKillrick, he's uh, he's been pretty pretty good for the Tigers at uh, at dummy half. I reckon. I reckon Matt McKillrick has been fairly solid. Like he's a good defender. Probably that's his biggest attribute. He's a he's a strong strong defender. You know he's not the most creative, but yeah he's he's solid there. Uh, Siamana Fanai, um, yeah pretty good, pretty good. Uh, you know he's a bit ill disciplined at times, but uh, you know he's a solid front rower. Josh Alloway. Um, I honestly, like, last year, this guy was really good. Like, he was really impressive. But um, this year, he hasn't played that much. I don't know if it's injuries or not. But, yeah, he, he hasn't really been in the squad too much. And, yeah, even the times he has played, he, he hasn't been as good as I, I expected. So, I really thought this year would be, uh, would be a big year for him. But, hasn't really gone on with it. Uh, then we have Chris Lawrence, just, you know... A very experienced campaigner. He's been at the Tigers, you know. He's been there the whole time. I'm, I'm surprised, honestly. Chris Lawrence hasn't been like captain more. Um, you know, 
he has been out with injury. Has he been out with injury lately? I, I can't remember him seeing him run around. I think he has been injured quite a bit this year. And that, that's, like he's still only 28, Chris Lawrence. It, it seems like he's he's been there for so long, but only 28. Like injuries just, you know, have, uh, it, it's, it all started when Chris Lawrence like dislocated his fucking hip. Um, that must have been like one of the worst injuries. Like it just seems like a terrible injury. And pretty much ever since that, he's sort of he sort of had on and off injuries and he just never really got back to his best. But he's still a very good player. Um, then we have Elijah Taylor. It's very good likeness, honestly. Um, but Elijah Taylor, 86. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably a little high. But he is a good player. I think he's, you know, he does a lot of good stuff. Uh, Tim Grant, you know. Not a big fan of Grant, honestly. I don't think he's that good. Uh, Suaso Su, 76. I feel like this could be a little high. He's, uh, he's a good player, Suaso Su. Very strong. Does some good stuff. Kyle Lovitz, not a big fan of. Matt Ballon, unfortunately, just pretty recently announced his retirement. Um, just couldn't really get back from the injury, which uh, is a huge shame because, you know, he signed to the Tigers from Manly, obviously. And I thought, yeah, that's that's a really good signing. Um, you know, replacing Robbie Farah, I thought it'd be uh, be a great signing. But yeah, just the injuries, uh, which is a shame because it's so weird. Like Matt Ballon pretty much went through his whole career uninjured. Like he played, I don't know how many games he played straight, but it was a lot. Um, so he he was pretty lucky. But then at the end of his career, just pretty much crueled by uh, by injuries, which is a shame. Uh, Jacob Little, he is definitely the, uh, you know, the long-term option at dummy half. 20 years old, good player. Yeah, he, he looks uh, looks pretty decent. Uh, Matt Eisenhuth uh, looks pretty good as well. Like the 56 rating, you know, obviously they wouldn't have seen much of him before they made the ratings. But yeah, the games he's played, I think, what is he, the, the cousin of Paul Kellen? So f fuck me. Um, that's a bit annoying, but... Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's done a pretty good job when he's played last few weeks. Um, Joel Edwards, pretty good. Michael Cheekan's played quite a bit this year. Uh, Malachi Watani, Zelezniak, you know, he's played a few games. You know, definitely, you know, I mean, his brother's definitely better, but he's pretty solid. He's pretty good winger. I'm surprised he, since transferring over, he hasn't sort of cemented a spot on the wing. He's just, he's a pretty good player. Um, Jack Littlejohn, 80 rated, that's, how's he 80 rated, look at his, his skills there, agility 88, 62, 65, 44, 54, 68, 87, somehow he's 80 overall, he must like have some incredible passing and kicking stats to boost it up, um, but where are some of these, there's a couple of young guns, I wonder if they're on the, on the list here, uh, a couple of them, See if they're. Jeez, they've got so many. <laughs> oh, here we go. Are they? Are they here? Who am I thinking of? Um, SR Masters is the main one. He's a. Uh, he looks a pretty, pretty promising player. There he is down here. SR Masters, 65 overall. Not a great rating, but he, he looks pretty good. And JJ Felice, actually, another one pretty good as well. Looks, uh, looks a good player. Looking at the jerseys, got the home, got the away. I do like the away jerseys, the nines and the indigenous. So there is the Tigers, the last NRL club to do. And the Super League, we are going to finish off with the Wigan Warriors. And let's get into it. Morgan there at fullback. Joel... Tompkins on the wing, but he is a second rower, so I think the uh, the team list is a little screwed up here. He probably isn't a winger. Uh, Anthony Galling, Oliver Gildart there, Joe Burgess, the uh, the winger. Play played a little bit of NRL at the Roosters. Didn't really find his feet though. Um, was it at the Roosters or was it? At the, it wasn't at the Rabbitohs. I think it was at the Roosters. Uh, George Williams. Thomas Lulu Lawai, um, you know, good play. He's been, been a pretty good player for a long time now. Uh, Ryan Sutton, Sam Powell, uh, Frank Paul Nuasala, you know, fairly strong player. 
Yeah, probably, honestly, like, his sprint speed can be a bit high. Like, he's pretty quick for a big guy. Uh, Connor, Connor Farrell. Uh, Davies there. Sean O'Loughlin, the captain. Sharks on the bench. Tierney. Navarrete. Callum Field. And go through the rest of them quickly. See if there's any more. Any more guys that I know. There is uh, Tolima Tortai. He was... It's funny, like, on um, Rugby League Live 3, Tortai was one of the highest rated players in the game. I think he was like 89 or 90, um, which was crazy. Uh, he was an absolute beast on uh, Rugby League Live 3, Tolima. And he obviously turned into a lock, like, at the... Um, playing in the NRL, he was a winger. Tortai. Who did he play for? I think it was the Eels, was it? Tortai? I think it was the Eels. Um, then we have Sam Tompkins. I uh, don't know why he's not in the in the run-on squad, but uh, 84 rated. You know, he's probably, you know, that's like the highest rated um, Super League player. And yeah, there we go. Look at the, uh, look at the jerseys quickly. Home and there's the away the away fairly similar to the, the storm colors right there but there we go that is the teams done and dusted hopefully you guys enjoyed going through the likenesses and stats and stuff and that'll do it for this uh this sort of a mini series got going i will uh there's some more stuff to do on the fan hub i do want to have a look at some creative stadiums and stuff like that and you know hopefully Hopefully they release some drills in the next week or two. But uh, yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.